Hi, I'm Priyanka Yoshikawa. Japan Airlines has long been connecting Japan to the world as the country's flag carrier. And this time we'll be bringing you the program for an experienced type facility right next to Haneda Airport called JAL Sky Museum. I've come to the exhibition area inside and showing us around is Satomi Yoshihara of the PR office of Japan Airlines. Ms. Yoshihara, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What kind of facility is this? We here at JAL have been carrying out what we call air education to get people to think about the future of air travel. JAL Sky Museum is also a place where visitors can learn about JAL and the airline industry's work, history, services and products. I'm looking forward to seeing the exhibit. There are big screens and displays of airplanes here. What kind of section is this? This area is called Sky Runway and we introduce the work people do to support flights. And in this section, we introduce the work that cabin attendants like myself do. You can see many small items here, and whenever we're working on a plane, we carry these items in our pockets and bags. This section introduces the work of cabin attendants, as well as pilots and ground handling crew, and the various goods that they use on the job. Ms. Yoshihara, this must be a cockpit. Yes, that's right. This is an actual flight simulator that was used by Japan Transocean Air. Can I sit here? Sure. You can sit and touch the controls. It's impressive. Sitting here makes me feel like an actual pilot. I see all kinds of uniforms here. What is this section? This is called the Archive Zone. And you can learn about the history of JAL since its founding. I see some familiar looking uniforms. We have all types. And this is the very first uniform that was used. It's what the first JAL cabin attendants wore. That must be what they wear now. This is a uniform that I also wore. And it's the 11th generation. In the middle, there's also a pants-style uniform, which was the first one issued by JAL. There's something very attractive about these uniforms. I see a bunch of monitors here. These monitors are divided by decade, from the 1950s. And you can see a digital timeline of JAL. I see all kinds of exhibits here, too. These are items that were actually equipped or offered on flights in the past. You can see items we provided to passengers as a service or a gift. Some you don't see anymore, and they're very rare. This time, we brought you the program from JAL Sky Museum, where you can learn about the history and activities of Japan Airlines. Hope you enjoyed it.